everybody. I bet you were wondering where I've been. It's been a long time since we've done shout outs, but we've had a good reason. I've been doing a lot of traveling and I have not been able to keep up on your comments. And when I can't keep up on comments, that means I can't always write down new people and thoughts and prayers for everybody. But I finally got caught up for the most part. There's been a few new videos that I haven't gone through yet, but I'm not going to hold up shout outs for those. I'll add those to the next week's shout outs because we're back on schedule. Welcome to the neighborhood community shout outs. And we have a lot to do. So let's get started. Joshua Cardenas. Welcome to the neighborhood. And he wanted us to know that he worked on the Frank Lloyd Wright house, the house on Haunted Hill, when they were doing some remodeling. He doesn't think they do tours anymore, but he said it is awesome inside. Yeah. Diddy Bear, one, two, three. Welcome to the neighborhood. Brittany Jones. Welcome to the neighborhood. Now, some of you I may have already welcomed. My brain gets a little mixed up sometimes. But if I welcomed you before, welcome again. If I say your name wrong, always remind, let me know and I'll fix it next week. So, let's keep going. Alana Stewart. Welcome to the neighborhood. Jessica Warple. Welcome to the neighborhood. Raul Acosta, welcome back. We missed you. Hope all is well. Elena Dubai, welcome to the neighborhood. Okay, I'm going to mess this one up. Anata Vanita. Anata Vanita, welcome to the neighborhood. Let me know if I said that right. Mandy H86, welcome to the neighborhood. Tammy G in ND, welcome to the neighborhood. And she's over from Maple Poon. Thank you, Maple Poon, and welcome, Tammy G. This is Ryder, welcome to the neighborhood. Barbara Dragonflies, welcome to the neighborhood. Stacy Paris, welcome to the neighborhood. Viking Slappo, welcome back. We missed you. Robin Bumgardner, welcome to the neighborhood. And I think you've been welcome before, so welcome back. Ashley Smile, welcome to the neighborhood. Chelsea Lyons, welcome to the neighborhood. Crazy Cade, 19, welcome to the neighborhood. Nicole Johnson, welcome to the neighborhood. Maddie Love, 623, welcome to the neighborhood. Amber Rice, welcome back, we missed you. Katie Peters, welcome to the neighborhood. Stacy Paris, welcome to the neighborhood. Taco Master, welcome to the neighborhood. Christina Marcelet, welcome to the neighborhood. Let's document my life. Welcome to the neighborhood. Tanya Hemmer, welcome back, girl. We missed you. Hope all is well with you. His wifey 81, welcome to the neighborhood. Vanessa Fogarty, welcome to the neighborhood. Sheila Smith, welcome to the neighborhood. Levis Moore, welcome to the neighborhood. Dawn Bow, welcome to the neighborhood. Okay. Hell and Angel, welcome to the neighborhood. Rachel R, welcome back, girl. We sure missed you. Jenna M, welcome to the neighborhood. And Sonia Good, welcome to the neighborhood. <sighs> William Fulwell Sherlock, Sher Sherlock Cook is going to start vlogging, so make sure you go by and check that out. 
And Christy Shiver gave us a good hint. Remember how I had that problem in Walmart trying to find that cord? And the lady had no idea what I was talking about. And then I found it and she said, oh, it shouldn't be in this department. Well, she said, if you're ever in Walmart and you have a problem, dial 1-800-WALMART and watch how quick that problem gets fixed, especially if you have long lines. Yep. So make sure you go by and check that out. Okay, JWM, welcome to the neighborhood. Stevie Counts, welcome to the neighborhood. Brenda Stewart, welcome to the neighborhood. Tina Wood, welcome to the neighborhood. Mel Miller 0028, welcome to the neighborhood. Cat Woodyard, welcome to the neighborhood. Oh. That was a long list of welcomes, but welcome to everybody who's new. Welcome to everybody who's back. Um, like we've said, YouTube has a really bad time of unsubscribing people, so if you find yourself unsubscribed, please resubscribe. Okay, we also have a couple of birthdays to announce. As you all know, July was Kevin's birthday, so happy birthday, Kevin. July was also Ellen's birthday from Ellen uh, Lucy Owl's channel. Welcome and happy birthday to Ellen. Uh, Miss Mary, happy 22nd birthday to your twin nieces. Uh, Sakat 11, happy birthday on July 5th. Shares a birthday with Kevin, so happy birthday to you. And happy birthday to anybody else out there who had July birthdays that I did not catch or I missed. Um, oh, Josh Iyer from uh, Meet the Presleys. Happy birthday to you. I know you had a birthday this month, so happy birthday to you as well. Okay, we got a lot of thoughts and prayers, guys. First of all, I'd love to thank each and every one of you for the thoughts and prayers of my dad. He did have an easy transition, and he is no longer suffering and no longer in pain. And he is up in the sky fishing in the great big lake, catching big old bass and golfing whenever he wants and checking down on us in his cardinal form and uh, he's much, much happier. So thank you all very much for those thoughts and prayers. Terry Johnson, she heard of a man who got electrocuted while clearing brushes. They were clearing brushes by the wires by his house. He was getting out of his car and he got electrocuted. So thoughts and prayers go out to his family uh, at this time of tragedy in their life. Peter DeRoos, um, he was told he may only have about 12 months to live. Um, he didn't go into any details on that, so thoughts and prayers go out to you, Peter. Sister Sue, 81, lost two relatives three days apart about four weeks ago. So thoughts and prayers go out to you, Sister Sue, and your family, and the family of your lost loved ones. Tanya Hemmer, mother-in-law, is now on hospice. So thoughts and prayers go out to you, Tanya. I know um, how hospice works, and it's usually a little difficult when hospice does step in. One Proud Mama 77, Haley's surgery is coming up. Um, so thoughts and prayers for Haley. And April is now scheduled for another surgery. So thoughts and prayers definitely go out to Haley in April from One Proud Mama, as always. Um, thoughts and prayers for uh, John Harrison, his cellulitis is back, his leg is swollen and sore, so thoughts and prayers go out to him. Adianic one, forever in our thoughts and prayers, um, 13 years ago she had stillborn twins and that has got to be something that stays with you for the rest of your life, so thoughts and prayers go out to you, Adianic one. Terry Johnson, also thoughts and prayers for her uncle Stan, who had a heart attack and was in critical condition for a while. Um, they were prepping him for surgery because he was bleeding internally and they could not find where he was bleeding and they needed to put a stop to that. As of July 12th, he was doing much better. 
um, he was talking and eating. So thoughts and prayers, guys, for uh, Terry Johnson's Uncle Stan. Mel Mel Hallis, still sick with stomach issues and um, not any closer to getting that under control. So please keep her in your thoughts and prayers as well. Betsy Wetsy, thoughts and prayers to go out to her. Her sister-in-law passed away um, on the 4th of July and father is not doing well down in Florida and she needs to go visit him before it gets too late. So thoughts and prayers go out to Betsy Wetsy and her entire family as well. Um, Michael and Amanda DeSanta, thoughts and prayers go out to them for a former teacher, Matthew, and his mother who is in ICU. Um, last I heard, she is doing a little bit better, but please keep her in your thoughts and prayers. Shannon Collins, mother-in-law, is in the hospital fighting for her life. Again, she didn't go into any details, but uh, if we could please keep her in your thoughts and prayers as well. Kyle Muenbein, 24, he's in the hospital with ammonia, pneumonia and the flu. And it is pretty serious. He's been in the hospital for about a week now, and they are planning on keeping him to the end of July. So it must be pretty serious. So thoughts and prayers go out to him. As always, thoughts and prayers go out to me mom's blog, 80, Melody Mainville, and Elijah Mainville, Drax Shadow. He's going through some infusions today. And um, this is kind of, nearing the, the last steps that they can do for Elijah. So please, 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 everybody, keep him in your thoughts and prayers that this works. Um, they are much loved family, much loved friends um, of ours and, and of many of you. And we would really like to see good things turn around for them. Um, I think I touched on everybody. If I missed you, um, I'm very, very sorry. Um, please, please, please let me know. I did ask about embarrassing moments. Um, we will go over those uh, most likely on the next shout outs since this one was so long. But I'm going to have Kevin take it away with the credit roll. Okay, well sorry it's been such a long time. In fact, I think it's been a month since we've done uh, shout outs. However, I do have answers to the questions from last month. The question was, what was the, um, the ratio of uh, deaths from the movie, uh, I Know What You Did Last Summer, and the novel? The novel was written in 1973 by Lois Duncan. And uh, the screenplay was written by Kevin Williamson, who also wrote Scream. And the answer was, in the novel, there was only one death. And that was a boy who was struck by the car on his bicycle. So they cut the boy out, made it the man, uh, and then turned it into your standard slasher movie with a body count of seven. So one, one death in the novel, seven in the uh, movie. So there's some uh, discrepancies as to whether the guy uh, who got his hand cut off was actually killed or not, since you don't actually see him die, but since he never returned in any of the sequels, we just assume he's dead. Right, Boomer? Okay. For tonight's horror film, it's a, it's a movie that I think I've asked a question about before, but 1974, check Texas Chainsaw Massacre, back when Chainsaw was two words. Since Val is on a cross-country trip, currently driving through Texas, um, has nothing to do with that. But yeah, it's, it's, uh, this plot is actually a, uh, a story of a group of kids taking a summer tour through Texas. So, the question is, in the final scene, uh, Gunnar Hansen, who plays Leatherface, it's just kind of running around in circles instead of chasing the girl. Why? Why? So, that is your question. We will have the answer for it next week. We're back on schedule. Halloween is coming. And we'll see you next week. Bye.
You are all part of our neighborhood community, each and every one of you out there. We would not be here today if it weren't for all of you out there. We love you all so very, very much. Please go by and check out all our other stuff. Stick by us. We will be back together soon, very soon, and things will be back on schedule. We love you. Give us a great big thumbs up, a share, a comment, all that happy crappy stuff, and we'll see you next week on another episode of Neighborhood Community Shout Out!